Hello guys, today on YouTube you will see another free video of my newest course about GraphQL in Laravel. This one, it's about GraphQL query with Lighthouse server and with Postman API client and with Laravel GraphQL playground. So practical example of installing it all, running the first query and see how it all works. If you want the full course, the link will be in the description below or you can go to laraveldaily.teachable.com, check out my other courses and maybe sign up for a yearly membership to support this YouTube channel for me to continue publishing free video here on YouTube for you guys. Enjoy this one and see you guys in other videos. So let's start with GraphQL by building a GraphQL server or installing a package that can help us with that. I will remind you that GraphQL is more like a language like a schema, but you need separate tools that can help you to utilize that schema. And one of the most popular ones is called Lighthouse at lighthouse-php.com. If you Google Laravel GraphQL, there are a few alternatives. For example, Rebing GraphQL Laravel is another package to do that and they are quite similar. So it's a personal preference, both are good. Throughout this course we will use Lighthouse. You can prefer another package and test it out, but we will move on with Lighthouse. And to install that, we go to the installation page, get started, and we just install it with Compose Require. So I have a fresh Laravel project, totally fresh Laravel project, no features, with just 10 users seated in the database. So 10 fake users. And we will try to get them, not from the REST API, so we won't create API endpoint. We will create a GraphQL server and ask for ID and name of the user or ID and email. We will experiment with that. So I have zoomed it in and let's install Compose Require, paste into my terminal. It installs the package of Lighthouse. Then we need to publish the default schema. Schema is probably the most important thing for GraphQL we publish the default schema, which is in GraphQL schema.graphql. And let's open that file in our PHP storm. There's GraphQL schema GraphQL, and this is how it looks like. So in your schema, you define the types, the queries, some more syntax. So in this default case, there's a type user, which corresponds to default user table of Laravel with types. And we will talk about all of those in detail later in the course for now. I just want the first successful experiment. So we can launch a query to get users or to get a specific user. And it could return a user object like this. Or if we ask for specific fields, it would return only those. At this point, we can already make those requests, make those queries. But to finish the installation in a more convenient way, we should add a thing called GraphQL Playground. It will be kind of a web page that would be able to query the GraphQL. So we can do Compose Require. And then we go to our home page with slash GraphQL dash playground URL. It will open on the left hand side. You can run queries. On the right side, you will see the result. So I will zoom it in. And the query, for example, I want to query users with ID and name. And by default, it will have an error because there is no paginator properly set up. And default GraphQL schema has pagination. So we will talk about how pagination works later in the course. For now, we will just change paginate with all. So get all users. We save the schema. Then we relaunch the same query. And we have data with users, ID and name. So we don't have any API endpoint. All we do is launch this URL, GraphQL. And in fact, it's a post request. And I will show you that in Postman in a minute. But for now, what you need to understand is that we can define, for example, we need to return ID, name and email, and then it returns whatever we need. So this is GraphQL Playground, and it's actually quite similar to any API client like Postman. So to do the same thing in Postman, it's pretty similar how you would launch any API endpoint, but you have to launch slash GraphQL for any request for any data, whether it's users or later other eloquent models, the same endpoint is GraphQL with post request specifically. And how do you define the parameters in the body section? There's a separate thing called GraphQL. And here you type in the query that you want. So I copy and paste it from GraphQL Playground, for example, and paste here. And I send the request and we have the result with users. The same thing just in Postman with GraphQL. So this is the minimum functionality, how to serve the GraphQL powered data 
with just a few installation commands and you can publish that schema somewhere, the GraphQL file to your front-end team and reading that schema, they can perform various queries that they need for the front-end.